Horizontal and vertical constraints. Let's place some horizontal and vertical constraints on some geometry. First, let's go up and make sure we select our parametric tab. And then we're in the geometric constraints panel. First, let's go with a horizontal. We click on a horizontal constraint. We'll come down and select the object. We pick anywhere on the object and it places a horizontal constraint. Um, at this point, when I go to grab the endpoints by the grips, you'll notice that I cannot put it on an angle. It only goes so the line is horizontal. Next, let's go and put a vertical. And I place a vertical on this line. And now the vertical constraint uh, is showing. And I cannot alter that in any way other than it has to be a vertical line. Also, we can do horizontal point to point. So I can go up and I can select a horizontal constraint. Then I'm going to actually say I want to do two points. Uh, so down in the command line, there's a two points function. So I'm going to hit enter for that. I'm going to fix the pick the first point. I'm going to pick on the circle. It selects that particular one, and I'll go over to the second one. I'll pick on that. It now made those two horizontally constrained. So those two circles will move. If one moves, the other one will move with it. Uh, I'll also then uh, uh, go and put a vertical one in. I'll put a vertical constraint in, and I want to do a two points. So I'm going to hit Enter on the command line. And now I can touch this circle, and I can touch this circle. Now these are vertically constrained. So if I do the move command, and I come over here and do the move command, and I move this line, I move it down, this one moves down because these two have to be horizontally. If I do the move command on this one here, this one moves. If I move this one over here, this moves with it. So we have these constr circles const uh, constrained, uh, geometrically constrained by horizontal and vertically. And we also can constrain lines to be objects to be vertically. So we can go from point to point, and we can do it by objects. So this is horizontal and vertical constraints.